Um, the food that they're eating, is it methane-derived carbon? Is it um, just they're eating detritus coming down? They just happen to be at the seep. And I also um, looked at the microbes in their guts to see if they were eating seep-associated bacteria and archaea. So are they, are they feeding off the seep, or are they just, they just happen to be there? They're feeding off the seep, um, but it's really, it was really hard to tell. Um, traditional methods that are, have been used, stable isotopes, which are like a bulk approach, like you can look at the bulk carbon and the bulk sulfur isotopes. Um, it, was, it wasn't it was depleted as we would expect if they were eating methane-derived carbon or reduced sulfur compounds, like at seeps. Um, but when we looked at the fatty acids, which are more um, high resolution, it's more specific, you're looking at specific compounds. We found in specific compounds that are likely derived from seep bacteria, we found reduced signals and when I looked at their guts, I found seep bacteria and archaea in their guts. So it just looks like that the, since they're so migrant and they move around and there's so much stuff um, coming down that in their bulk signal, you lose the resolution of how they're eating at the methane seep. Um, but in when you look in higher detail, um, you can see their dependence on the habitat. It's kind of like an extra food source to them. Oh, that's amazing. Try it falls in there. Does this guy do the same here? Probably, huh? Who knows? Yeah. Yeah. Look at him go. Kind of looks like it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right now, Lunch it's away. very... Wow. Yeah. Oh, it's so neat.